Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to the Blitz Challenge. Today with us is a great personality from Germany. Hello, Elizabeth Pates. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. So glad to have you. Uh, guys, I would like to tell you that uh, this is going to be an amazingly interesting Blitz Challenge session that we have because the player we have with us is not only number one female player in Germany, she's an IM. She is the former world junior champion, also world under 18 champion. She's won European rapid championship as well. So uh, very, very accomplished chess player. Uh, Elizabeth, where are you right now? I am in, uh, okay, in German it's Lemberg. In English it's probably Wolf. Could be also Viv, I'm not sure. Okay. It's uh, one of the main cities in Ukraine. I'm currently staying with both Mutsushuk sisters. Oh, you, you are in Ukraine right now? I'm in Ukraine right now. I have my holidays. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. So, so where you are in the house, there are already two grandmasters, yourself. It's a very strong uh, place, yeah, where you are. You're... It's actually, I mean, from the female perspective, it's actually a quite strong place, yeah. <laughs> you can have a, have a small event there. So, so how how excited are you to play against some of the players of Chess Base India? Some of the subscribers, and uh, they would be facing you. Are you tensed? Are you excited? Are you confident? How is it? Um, I'm not nervous. <laughs> if I should be, you have to tell me. Then I will try to pretend. <laughs> <laughs> no, ne not at all. Not at all. It's going to be fun. Uh, so the format is the following. Uh, you have to play three minutes plus two seconds increment games. Mm -hmm. And uh, guys, all those who are premium members can challenge uh, Elizabeth on her ID, which is Lizzie Pates. Yeah, L, uh, and it's she's in the room right now over there. So you can send her a challenge of three minutes plus two seconds increment. And she will accept it and while she plays, I'll be commentating. Uh, Elizabeth, you will have to mute yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, then after that, uh, after the game is over, we'll just go over the game uh, and try to understand what went right, what went wrong. And uh, okay. that's how it will go. Okay, I got it. So you have to tell me when I should start. Yeah, so if you are ready, you can accept the first challenge of whoever it is uh, that you are going to take. And, yes, the uh, first challenge is a king. Okay. What's his name? King to B4. Okay. Either the king goes to, to B4. Okay. Okay. We will see if this is happening in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's begin. So uh, tell me when, when you are... Uh, when your game begins. I will click on the game. Yes. And I will mute you now. Absolutely. Okay, so game has begun. Elizabeth is playing. Let me just check if I can follow her. Yeah, there she is. Now I see her. I'm going to just make a new window capture of the game. Yep, there you have it. Okay, so she is playing with the white pieces, okay, against king to b4. Let me see how to get the clocks in. And everything looks simple right now. She's just, we are in the opening phase of the game. So I'm just making sure. Yeah, there's the clock. There are the names. 
and there we have it all good so lizzie is playing with the white pieces guys i'm just going to make it a little bit more Oh, she's. Where did the queen go? The queen. The queen is gone. I was trying to adjust everything, and she's finished. You know, guys, in the blitz challenge, until now, we have had people who have uh, played seven games at max in roughly around one and a half hours, and maybe today, if this is how things are going to go, maybe Elizabeth is going to play more games than usual. Oh, the game is so over. The game. Sorry, <laughs> I was just adjusting everything, and you finished. You finished. No need to be sorry. You were too quick. You were too quick. Uh, can we just have a look at the game very quickly and try to see what went wrong for for Black? So you were playing King to B4, and you opened the game with D4, F5, E3, Knight F6. Okay. Yeah. That's the Dutch defense, B3. Yep. It's like, you know, this line is actually quite tricky. Let me just tell you something briefly about it because this line is usually like a good weapon if the opponent is setting up with G6 and Bishop E7 because I wait with the king side development because after G6, I will play Bishop E2, then push H4, Ooh. ready for H5 and put my knight to H3. Oh, that's why you didn't develop your knight to f3. Not, I mean, like, I, I, I mean, okay, since he played e6, it didn't matter anymore. Then I would just switch to the normal development. But for example, like, if after b3, my opponent plays g6, then it's very clever to play bishop b2, bishop g7, bishop e2. I mean, maybe I can show it. I'm not sure this is possible. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, uh, uh, you can see on the screen, I'm already showing it. Yes, bishop e2. And then actually now the idea is knight h3 and h5. And I get actually a quite good attack. Wow. Fantastic. So this is very clever. Like for blitz games, it works perfectly. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. By the way, Anna Muzichuk is in the chat and says, Lizzie played this system a couple of times versus me. Oh, nice, Anna. Also against Maria. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wow, wow. So this is a very nice thing to learn that you play b3 and here the opponent didn't go for g6. Uh, he played e6, bishop b2, bishop e7 and uh, c4 and you now played g3. So you are now developing bishop on g2. I mean, now I'm transforming to some kind of normal position because the whole idea with h4 is not working if uh, he develops his bishop to e7, not g7. Right, there's no hook to actually play h4, h5. So exactly. you played queen e8, knight to e2, knight e4, castles, knight c6, nc3, and takes... This This seems like a normal position, yeah, until now? No, this is actually quite normal. I think the mistake, I mean, came in the moment um, after d5. Probably it's clever here to even capture on d5. Because mm -hmm. okay, um, I cannot take with a knight because my bishop is not protected. Or maybe, okay, I think maybe I will not be able to take with a knight. I don't want to like really like make this for sure because I can take on c7. But I think still it doesn't work because I have queen d8 and uh, the knight will be trapped on the long run. I mean, I will lose this knight and then... Yeah. And then you will be a piece down. So instead... Knight, uh, so it, taking it was good, but you could have taken with the bishop. I mean, one option, maybe even with a pawn, it's interesting. Uh. I wasn't sure about that. Uh, and fighting for the square e6 at some point. Right. This is interesting. Maybe like knight e5 now, and then something like queen c2, knight e2, and then aiming for f4 or d4 square. That was my other idea. Okay, brilliant. Right, so... Knight e5 was not a good move because after d takes e6, now she can't take with the bishop because 
B7 is hanging, but that would have been the lesser evil in any case because because uh, your opponent took on E6 with the queen, and there you were. Yeah, you were very yes. very quick to spot this, and that's first win in the bag. Uh, already a great start. So shall we go to game number two? Yes, I will just have to close the playing window. Yeah. Also, uh, we have a very nice. Uh, group of people following this we have frederick friedel in the chat who's writing stuff in all different languages indian languages he's writing in i think what is this tamil or some some, some different uh, kind of and we also have anna who's who's here um, and fantastic okay so let's go to for for another game and who whom are you going to play this time I will play Mr. Bob's X Y X. Okay, Mr. Bob's. Okay, let's let's go. Mm -hmm. And you mute me so that I can commentate. And uh, Elizabeth cannot hear me now, so it's good. Let me see. And the game has begun. Yes, guys, all set. Oh, she is playing white, and this time she plays C three. And her opponent is Mr. Bob's X Y X Y X Y. Wow, what a name! And she's played the London system, guys. London system, everyone's favorite. She's developed her knight to d2, and she's going to take with the e pawn, bishop d6, bishop g3. I get a feeling that she's going to checkmate her opponent on the king side with this bishop aiming at this long diagonal on h7. This is going to be very very fascinating attack. Queen goes to e2. Okay, and g6. Ah, no, no, h4. I think she will go h4 at some point. No, knight e5. I'm simply amazed at the speed at which all the moves are being made. Uh, knight to d7. Elizabeth, we want h4. Come on, h4, guys. Let's go for. Oh, and she does it. She does it. She plays h4. Maybe now bishop f4 and g4. Oh, knight f3. Yeah, yeah. A little bit careful. A little bit careful. Maybe the white king goes. Maybe the white king goes long castle. King to g7. Oh, bishop f4. And now maybe g4 or queen e3 with the idea of bishop h6. The dark squares look so weak. Even bishop g5. And he's played f5, creating further weaknesses. Guys, it's so interesting to see how a world class player. You know, manages to outwit their opponents. Knight takes f6, and now Elizabeth has so many options. She can go bishop g5. She can play knight e5. She can long castle. She can even short castle. But I know that she doesn't. She won't short castle. By the way, I I am not so sure about her playing style, but from the way she is playing, I know that she is an aggressive player. She likes to attack. Now g4 coming up next, guys, because the knight is pinned. You see the bishop is pinning the knight. So g4 is going to be a nice move here. King to f7. And how to finish off the opponent? Because this looks like an overwhelming advantage. She plays queen f3. Maybe rook h3. Rook f3 was also strong. But queen f3 is now played again. Maybe with the idea of somewhere looking to open up the position with g4, perhaps. Rook goes to g8. By the way, guys, all in the chat who would like to play against Elizabeth have to come into the link, the second link in the description. It's called the Blitz Challenge Room. Come in there. You need to be a premium member. You can become a premium member of Chessbase. It's very simple. It's not expensive it has a lot of features and you get to play against a top player in the world so queen goes to e7 and now rook h3 a pinned piece must be attacked and now you see rook f3 is coming the king on f7 cannot move it goes to g7 but there also it will be pinned so now she pins it further rook f8 and white is hanging on black is hanging on by a thread but now g6 is attacked you can't defend so many weaknesses. What a game. game. Is it over? Yep. Did, oh, she resigned. Queen g5 was the last move. This 
Elizabeth, can, can, are you an aggressive player? Are you an attacking player by nature? Uh, as a kid, I was super aggressive. Then actually, like by age, I became a bit more quiet. But uh, playing the London actually is one of the openings when it goes well in the opening. And here it went quite well in the opening. Then it's quite easy to attack without any risks. Yeah, I, I mean, I think today you are in your childhood mode because, yeah, you, you, you played a very nice attacking game. I was like, Elizabeth will go for H4 in that position and you did go, you did go. Uh, just a second, let me get the board here. Um, yeah. Okay, so you opened the game with D4. Mm -hmm. You can see the board, right? Yes, I can see the board. Yeah, and c5, c3, knight f6, knight f3, d5. So that's the London system. Is it one of your favorite openings? Well, I thought like since I met probably the longest German DVD for chess base on the London system, and now playing on the chess base server, I should stick to London. You made a DVD on London? I made a DVD on London in German language, and ah, I think German, it's the longest. In German. It's the longest German DVD they have in the office. It's really? 30 how, hours. How, 13 hours on the London. <laughs> I took it a bit too precisely, I guess. <laughs> uh, because in English, I know that you have a DVD called How to Exchange Pieces. It's so true, yeah. That's, that's one that you have made. But I didn't know that you had made a German DVD on the L London system. So, so you are an expert. By the way, taking on D4 is not so good, right? No, this is already like actually considered to be um, uh, like imprecision. I wouldn't call it mistake. It's too too harsh the word, but it's definitely an imprecision because taking on D4 first of all opens up the E file, which means when I later play like Bishop D3 and Rook E1, I can exploit the square on E5 anymore. And one of the main ideas for black in order to equalize, if he can, but in this system it's difficult to reach, is to push e6, e5 in one stage. Okay. I mean, but then actually like uh, he shouldn't play, if he wants to aim for this line, then it's more clever to skip knight c6 and bring the knight to d7. Yeah, yeah. Elizabeth, if you can help me, because you're such a big expert. I always think that bishop d6, bishop g3, castles, knight mm -hmm. bd2, Queen c7, bishop d3 and knight bd7 seems like a good way for black to play. Do you agree with this? Yes, I absolutely agree with this. This is one of the, the, the lines which should give like uh, easily uh, an easy way to equalize. I even That's why actually like instead of bishop d3, for example, to keep it more exciting. No, no, no. You can go to, to where we had been. Yeah. Okay. Here, Actually, like, uh, I would prefer to play knight e5 and then to push f4. Even mm -hmm. so, it doesn't promise so much because, okay, you can push your knight to d7 and after f4, the idea is even to go knight e4 in some, uh, to some extent. So it's not like anything special, but um, at least uh, this is um, for black. Um, this is for white, gives white a bit, a, a kind of richer position like a more rich position and not this kind of uh, easy positions. But actually even, um, I think Magnus Carlsen won a very nice game against Nakamura in in Moscow. I'm not sure during the World Rapid and Blitz. Yes. And it was, I think the system, he just took on C5 and outplayed him later. So, <laughs> but okay, this is Magnus. Um, but in general, this line I would recommend in order to equalize, okay. I mean, easier okay. or like to have less, uh, well, headaches. That's that's good to know. That's good to know. So I'll uh, work on that with black. So C D E D Bishop D six, and here already you have a nice position. Mm -hmm. A six. You went Queen E two, and I like the fact how you keep your king in the center. You do not castle short. Cast. You keep the options open. Yes, I wanted to wait. I mean, if, even if you just castle short and play Rook E one, you have a better position without any headaches. Just yeah. okay. I thought like it's a blitz challenge, so I should not play boring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. So, so you played queen e2, uh, mm -hmm. g6, and here, yeah, knight went to e5, and uh, taking with the bishop was, of course, uh, not so great. Yeah, it weakened all the dark squares. Yes, but okay, actually, it's fine, but here he has to play knight h5. Ah, to, oops, sorry, to win this bishop here. 
Well, he cannot really take the bishop. It's not about like to take the bishop. It's about stopping h4, h5 ideas easier. Mm. It's not so easy now to get um, the knight out in a way. Right, right. And this would have been like, uh, well, I'm not even sure that knight e5 is the best move objectively because of knight h5. But okay, I in the blitz game, you don't, well, care so much to be super precise. Yeah, yeah. But but after knight d7, h4 was a very nice move. You just went in, and I liked how you uh, brought your knight, then your bishop. Now you're threatening to go maybe bishop g5 or queen e3. Yes, Looking queen e3 was the idea basically. Yeah, queen e3, and he played f5. Now this is weakening yourself too much. You took knight jump to e5, and uh, a very nice pin here. Yes, but okay, I think the last chance for him was, or for her, I don't know if it, who I played actually, but uh, instead of uh, taking on e5, maybe the last chance for black was to play knight e4 instantly. Now, knight e4. Wow. I will take on c6. Then I will give a check on e5. Of course, here, white is better, but at least, okay, black is not, uh, okay, actually, white is maybe even too much better still. Yeah. It's an extra no, pawn with a very dominant it's an extra position. pawn, yeah. So I thought like that maybe knight e4 gives a bit a bit better play, but uh oh. so knight e knight takes e5, bishop yeah. e5, and now uh, the king was like going from one pin to another. It tried to get out from the bishop's pin, but then the rook came uh, it came under the um the queen's pin and then the you played queen f4, brought your rook in. You didn't have to even castle here. And a very nice win here. Excellent game. Uh, and two out of two. So shall we go for the next game? Yes. By the way, before we go to the next game, I want to tell the viewers that Elizabeth is not just an IM. She's not just a world-class player, but she's also... A streamer and a YouTuber and she has her own YouTube channel and I would love if I can just show it on the screen to everyone so I did some tutorials actually um, but now I I stopped it a bit to be honest because I prefer to give lessons <laughs> to be uh, you, you, you are now uh, train you now train people I like I, I give more lessons and actually like now I I, I had more joy to to to, to like uh, give Anna some ideas because she's enjoying Twitch and YouTube much more than me. Right. So now actually like my idea is like to 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 help her or like to support her in 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 this field to make some streams for sort for fun. But actually for me myself I nowadays prefer teaching. Ah okay. But it's quite likely that you may come back, yeah, to streaming. No, I mean, like, I sometimes do a Twitch stream. But, for example, like, while I'm here, I'm joining Anna in the Twitch stream. So we are only streaming from her account. And we will have a Twitch stream tonight, actually. Ah, there's also a Twitch stream. Okay. Yes, I mean, like, one hour later, we will go online with Anna, with Anna's uh, account. And we will have a Twitch stream about visualization in chess. Oh, really? Uh, is it Twitch slash Anna Muzichuk? Yes. Guys, please, if you can find Twitch channel of Anna and put it there and people can go and subscribe there and follow uh, Anna on Twitch, that would be nice. Meanwhile, please check out Elizabeth's YouTube channel because even if she may not stream a lot right now, there's already a lot of wonderful content over there. I saw that there are some beautiful videos uh, that you have already created and um, I, I have put it here. Uh, the link it's called Elizabeth Pates and we will check you know uh, I mean there are some kind of tutorials on calculation improvement middle game strategy and stuff like that this is true yeah 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 okay so shall we go to the next game yep one okay. second I will just mute you oh who's your opponent but first tell me that whom are you playing Okay, maybe she muted me already. So let's see if her game has begun. Yes, she's playing Aditya Bikram. Okay, fantastic. But she's getting all white pieces. Ah, she maybe it's because it's unrated. 
she's playing all whites but it doesn't matter it's fun maybe another london oh she's played the london again this is going to be fun c5 and what if aditya bikram was following the stream and now knows oh he didn't he didn't listen to the e6 bishop d6 queen c7 line he plays his knight to c6 and elizabeth puts her pawn on c3 and bishop g4 knight bd2 so black is playing actively what black has done is got her bishop out uh, sorry got his bishop out aditya has got his bishop out to g4 and look at uh, elizabeth's move she has gone to a4 and just telling the bishop on g4 well what are you pinning there's no pin now on this diagonal and the knight on f3 is going to jump to e5 pinning the black knight on c6 wow this is interesting Let's see how this goes. Bishop to e7. Maybe knight e5. Knight e5 and then you get the bishop pair. That looks like a good move. Until now, and, uh, Elizabeth hasn't got an opponent who's really strong. Who has made her think and she plays knight e5. But maybe it's Aditya Bikram. Because look here even. Oh, he castles. But now knight c6, bc6, queen c6 or should you take on g4? This is a complex decision. What do you do? A pawn or the bishop pair? Ah, she goes after the pawn. Well, a pawn is a pawn. Material is more important. Yeah, she takes it. And now she has a very nice position. And also... Uh, She'll just develop bishop d3 next and castle. The rook would be well placed on b8. But you can see the bishop on f4 is attacking that rook over there. So you really cannot play rook b8 in this position. Queen a4. Oh, c4 is played and she goes back. Maybe black has some compensation here, I guess, because, uh, you know, she ha white, white has to still complete her development and the f1 bishop is not so easy to develop. You can't put it on d3. Oh, b3 was played now. Takes, okay, and I guess ab. And now the bishop is coming to d3 rook f c8 so putting pressure on c3 pawn i like how black is playing suddenly because if you think about it black has some serious counterplay here how to defend c3 if you play c4 that just allows bishop b4 pinning the knight oh bishop b4 wow what's what's that move Aditya Bikram suddenly started playing some brilliant moves and maybe Elizabeth has to play knight to b1 now. Yeah, but then bishop f5 looks strong and then you can take on b1 and then c3 is hanging or you go knight e4 putting more pressure. It looks like black is already better here. <sighs> Lizzie is in trouble. Yeah, ninety four. Maybe Aditya has managed to put a lot of pressure on her opponent. How to continue? Maybe even if she can cut her losses and castle quickly, like bishop d3, knight c3 and castle, but then the queen on a4 is hanging. So you have to take on c3, but then bishop c3 is a check. Oh, f3 f3 knight takes c3 knight takes c3 bishop c3 or rook c3 how do you continue i think bishop c3 and then king f2 looks good king oh she he took with the rook king f2 and it seems like now bishop e2 and the game is still pretty much alive maybe bishop a6 was also possible putting the bishop on that square controlling the c8 square but she plays bishop e2 and this is this is still around equal i guess i would uh, be interested to see if black will try here or white 
What's going to happen? And Aditya is now thinking for his move. I don't know which country Aditya is from. I'm not want to check. Aditya Bikram is from. Ah, there's no country. But I know Aditya Bikram as a player from Indonesia. Maybe is he that young youngster from Indonesia because he's a strong player. He's a strong player. Maybe now Queen C6 attacks. Oh, she plays Rook C1. Nice move. Nice move. So now the threat is maybe Queen C6 attacking the Rook and also the Bishop on C3. How do you stop that? Rook C8. Then there's this pin on the C file. Oh, takes, takes. And this is a symmetrical position, but white has a small edge that white has the open file, better bishops, king is in the center. I like Elizabeth's position. I like it. Rook may swoop in on c7 and then put pressure in the position. Oh, bishop a5 stops rook c7 and now g4. She's expanding on the king side. Go h4. Maybe h4. No, h4 is met with h5. So maybe not bishop b7 pushing the rook away. And now, bishop c7? How about that? Exchanging. Because I somehow feel that the bishop on g6 is somehow out of the game. So if you play bishop c7, oh, she plays rook to c5. And now after bishop b6, rook c6. Very interesting. Oh, Divya Deshmukh in the chat. Welcome, Divya. Welcome. Nice to see you. Now, bishop goes to d3, bishop g5. So, so provoking f6, weakening the second rank a bit, coming back. And now let's see if uh, Elizabeth can make use of that fact. She's managing her time excellently. She is on 35 seconds, but there's two seconds increment, guys. It's a serious blitz game. So we have increment. And now maybe she wants to go bishop b4 and play a5. I like how in this very symmetrical position, Elizabeth is trying to push ever so slowly. And opponent is finding it difficult to make moves. Bishop c5. All that white wants is that c7 square. So bishop c5. I, I guess bishop b4 and a5 might have been more accurate. But now she has a passer on c file. Is that going to be sufficient? Bishop a... Oh, she's exchanging the bishops as well. Man, it's a very interesting play. And now bringing her king in. Rook to a5, king d7. This might well end in a draw perhaps. Or check if black takes on c5, e6 pawn is hanging. This has been an intense fight. I think Aditya Bikram has played well. He's defended well. At some point, I felt like Elizabeth was pushing quite a lot. But now it seems like if someone is better, then maybe it's black. Oh, she stopped king before. She stopped king before. D4. Rook takes. Check king and pawn in game. Who's better here, guys? Who's better? F king c4, king c6, f5. Oh, gaining space. Is she going to win in the king and pawn end game? I think she's she look at her face. She's confident that she's winning this. G5. Maybe Fg, Hg, H4. And you get an outside passer. What a game this has been. What a game. Fantastic game by Elizabeth. And now GF, GF. And this is a simple win. Uh, the king is outside the square. And Aditya fought extremely hard. But Elizabeth turned out to be a little too strong for her for him. And a fantastic win. What a, what a game. That was a big fight. Big fight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was really intense. And I uh, let's let's quickly go through the game because there are so many interesting moments uh, to look at. Just a second. I'm going to save this one. Yeah. So uh, I guess the first very interesting moment in the game came up. When you played your knight to e5 and black castled, were you aware of this line or how was it? 
No, actually, like Bishop G4 is considered not to be um, the best setup if you go for the Slav setup in London. You should better put your bishop to f5 because in the most lines when I push knight e5, I have always this kind of tempo that um, the bishop on g4, I, I may capture it and also like have advantage because of uh, the bishop pair. So for this reason, actually, it's more wise to put your bishop in general on f5 than on a g4, because in the most lines, you may lose a tempo because of knight e5. Right. That's one thing. And here, okay, here you, I win a pawn for actually usually no compensation. But the way I played it, of course, uh, my, op my opponent became, I mean, my opponent got a lot of compensation eventually. Yeah, yeah. I, I was actually thinking whether you'll take the bishop and have the bishop pair or will you go for the pawn? You turned out to be a pawn grabber there. You took the pawn. Maybe it's... But yeah, you know, there's a much more interesting moment instead of knight e5. I was puzzled if I should go for another move because actually here's an opening trick after knight e5, even with a bishop on f5. Instead of bishop e7, for example, like there's a common trick if you play bishop d6 mm -hmm. in this position, no matter if the bishop the other one is on g4 or on f5, here bishop a6 is winning the game. Ooh. This is an opening trick everybody should know. Wow, this is such a nice one. We should have asked the, the audience. What a nice move. Bishop a6 and the point is to take here. And what if I play... Oh, if I play queen c7, you just simply I take... I can take on b6 and b7. You will not be able to manage right. to, to fix right. all your problems. And, also, and that's why this... even after bishop e7... Yeah, this is yes. so. So here you were actually thinking very seriously about Bishop A6, yeah. Anyway, because okay, I know the opening trick. I mean, it's on my DVD, but I was thinking, okay, here it's not as great because the Bishop on D6 is not hanging. Right. But still, this is an interesting move because maybe it's even objectively better than what I did because he has problems. Uh, no, he can play actually Queen B6, and he doesn't have problems. Uh, also, so Queen C8, um, Queen C8 maybe Knight E5, yeah. Maybe then I have 95, but queen b6 is actually good, you know. Yeah, and you're threatening to take here. But still, maybe 95. Possible, but I mean, probably it's not not needed to play so complicated in a way. Okay. Because, okay, um, hypothetically speaking, I can just take on a6 and I go for the end game and I have the bishop pair. Yeah. Maybe yeah. white is a bit better, but it's nothing special. So, I mean, 95 looks more natural. True. That's why yeah. I went eventually for this, but I was looking at bishop a6 here as well. But I, I love this trap. Actually, guys, you, you are learning so many interesting concepts here because bd6, bishop a6 is something you must not miss. Even if the bishop is on f5, this trick will work absolutely uh -huh. well. So knight e5, you took, took. And I think at this position, we got really worried uh, in fact uh, anna in the chat said uh, lizzie in trouble here <laughs> so i, I... No, actually i don't think i'm in big trouble if probably i go knight b1 this was my initial plan ah. straight away knight b1 maybe yes okay we have bishop f5 but okay in the worst case then i will play bishop a6 i have always this in like intermediate move bishop a6 which i was counting on but since i played first bishop c1 i didn't manage it yeah, first you played rook c1 and then bishop b4 came in and now you had to go knight b1 and knight e4. I thought it was a big trouble, but you found this very tricky move, f3, very nice move. Then takes, takes, rook takes and uh, king f2. And somehow, even though it's like a very symmetrical sort of a position, it looks like white is slightly better, yeah? Yes, white is slightly better because, I mean, like I control the b file and I mean objectively your a7 pawn or like your c file and especially your king because it's on the back rank uh, yeah, mating yeah. area um i will win a lot of important tempi true true so i will be the i will be the first one who is uh, entering on the c file right maybe here was an option i don't know bishop c2, bishop c2 I, I calculated that i mean i have bishop i will play rook c1 yeah and take this. And as well, if you take, then um, queen a3. Mm -hmm. 
And I wasn't sure whether you can, uh, like I have rook b1 as a threat and I have rook takes c3 as a threat. And I wasn't sure you have a defense here. And even if you have in blitz, it will be super hard. Yeah, yeah. I see that uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, I don't see a very good move for, uh, maybe there is this bishop b4 which saves the day, yeah? Because if you ah, take the yes, yes. Ah. Actually, I, at some point I saw these kind of tactical tricks, but not in this position, actually. Right, right. But this was mm. very interesting. Uh, Aditya thought that if he exchanges the queens, he would have a nice position. But you here, you started the grind, and in fact, we have we had uh, even Divya who was here in the chat, uh, one of India's you know young talents, Divya Deshmukh. And even yes, I saw her games from the uh, Olympiad. online Olympiad actually. Yeah. She said it was a very nice grind, uh, and she said GG. By the way, uh, here what I liked is how you provoked f6 and weakened this square on e6. Yeah, it's very interesting because actually, now I think after king f7. I did actually my first real mistake from the technical point. I think I should play here bishop c7 yes, immediately. Yes. But do you think I missed that going uh, bishop c7 directly also could have been better? Probably this is also better. But then I mean like with a pawn on f6, it's somehow nicer. <laughs> right, right. Because e6 is weaker. But uh, okay, here I got a bit nervous because my time was also running out. So... So kudos to Aditya for at least making Elizabeth slightly nervous. Uh, taking here uh, takes and bishop a6 was played. Take, rook takes, rook d7. And this was actually very tense because now I thought black was doing okay in this position. Uh, but you kept pushing and here... Okay. But this endgame is very dangerous for him because uh, I mean... No, the pawn um... endgame looks winning, yeah, for you. I'm not sure it's winning, but at least I cannot lose. <laughs> no, it was. So I was like, this is good. <laughs> yeah, your king is well placed. You have more space on the king side. Mm -hmm. And what a nice, uh, quick way to spot it. King c4, threatening king b5. And he had to block. And now you took even more space. And after g5, there goes the outside passer. Brilliant. Yes, brilliant. and the outside passers usually are. Uh quite crucial in pawn endings. Yeah, yeah. Enjoyed this game tremendously. Uh, so time for the fourth game. Learning a lot from this entire thing. Uh, let's see who's your next opponent. Okay, I will just mute you and I will accept the challenge. Okay. Let's go here and see who is going to be Elizabeth's next opponent. She hasn't yet accepted it. Guys, please do like the stream and mods if you can put the link of Elizabeth's channel. Has your game begun? I'm not sure if her game has begun yet. Just checking. Ah, she's playing against Kimaya Virle. Oh, nice. I don't know. Uh, she hasn't made her. Yeah, Elizabeth. There's a problem probably, like because I mean I was accepting the challenge and then it was telling me to retry, which was a bit strange. Okay, can you then um, challenge the same player again? Uh, her name is Kimaya Virle. Kim, K, uh, if you can close the board. And... Yes, but now she is playing, which is strange. Ah, she's playing with someone else, perhaps. Oh, uh, I don't know. Kimaya, if you are listening to this chat, she is a regular viewer of Chessbase India. So you can close your board and maybe challenge Elizabeth again. Because I know mm -hmm. if she misses this uh, game, she would be very upset. Uh, and well, I think she has to close the, the, the yeah. playing when you, window, otherwise she's still playing. And then it's hard to challenge her. True, true. So if you guys... Can uh, Kimaya, can can you just close the window and challenge her again? I think it's begun, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, now it should be fine. Okay. Yes, now it works. Right, so game is begun. Thank you, Elizabeth, for being uh, patient there and taking challenge. And this time she has black pieces. Very nice. Let's see her black repertoire. D4, E6, C4. Maybe the Nimzo Indian, maybe the oh b6. She's here with all her tricks. She's here with all her tricks. B6, knight c3, bishop b4. This is like the Owens Owens uh, opening. 
She's not playing her knight to f6. Wow, Kimaya is playing aggressive chess. Oh, pushes her pawn to e4. <laughs> Queen h4. Uh, what do you do to bishop d3? Is she going to play f5? Is she going to play f5? Because you can't play f3. g3 means queen takes e4. So e4 pawn is hanging guys already here. And white is put in trouble. This is a very tricky, tricky move by Elizabeth. This is very interesting. She's played her queen to h4. Bishop d3 and now I'm sure she'll go f5. Although I'm not sure if it's a good move or not. And she plays it. She plays it. If you are going to play blitz, this is how you play blitz. This is how you put pressure on your opponent. Now the e4 pawn is hanging. You can't take perhaps because bishop takes g2 is a big threat. Ooh, we are going to learn a lot from this game after the game. Elizabeth's thoughts and um, Anna Muzichuk says, what a move. Yeah, Anna, what a move. Yeah, this is really fantastic. She's played f5. And White is thinking, I think Kimaya is in big trouble here. What should she do? She, should she play g3, pushing the queen back? But then that weakens the long diagonal. Yeah, yeah, this is not... Yeah, she plays g3 and now maybe just drop the queen back somewhere. I don't know, h5 perhaps, yeah. She plays it to h5. Now the next problem is... Uh, maybe white can go f3 and try to bolster the center. It, it looks it looks hanging and look at the time. Elizabeth has 2 minutes 46 seconds. And Kimaya has just 1 minute 23 seconds. Oh, nf3, queen g4 was the problem, says Anna. Yeah, yeah, instead of g3, if knight f3, that was a problem. And now look at that. Still putting more pressure on the e4 point. Under such pressure, I am sure the opponent is bound to make some mistake here. <clears throat> what should you do? What should you do? Should you give up your rook by playing e5? That may be a bit too much. But if you long castle, then I take on c3, bc3 and I take on e4. Oh, bishop e2 was played. Hmm. But now queen, no, no, queen f7. Yeah, because queen g6 means e takes f5 comes with a tempo. So she plays her queen back to f7. c7 pawn is soft. c7 pawn is soft. So Kimaya is fighting hard here. She's not giving it up. She's not going to give up. What if I take on c7 now? If you take on c7, knight takes e4, f3, blocking that diagonal. That looks good. Guys, all those who are asking in the chat, is Anna a GM or not? She is a world-class GM, world number seven, who's in the chat right now. And here we have Elizabeth Pates, who's playing, who is uh, an IM German number one, former world junior champion. And she has won an exchange here. But White has kind of freed up her position a bit. Is this compensation enough? I doubt, I doubt. Because knight moves to c6. Look at how aggressively she plays. Bishop c7 means d6. Trapping the bishop and you can pick up that bishop on c7. This is very nice play. I don't think Kimaya is going to take that pawn. But she's down to 19 seconds. 18, 17. And she has... Uh, Elizabeth has 2 minutes 10 seconds. So take on c3. bc3 and... It, Long castle or d6? No, d6. She plays knight to a5. Positional chess plus aggressive chess. Attacking the pawn on c4. And now maybe d6 looks good. Queen e7. I'm, I'm always worried about this pawn on c7. But Elizabeth keeps finding tricky ways. And now she's won a piece it seems. Because now e4 comes in. And that's game over, guys. That's game over. E takes F3. Queens are exchanged. Another win. Four out of four. Guys, come on. Buck up. Is there someone who can give Elizabeth a tough fight? This is over. And...
that's done. What a nice, nice game. Elizabeth, we have to learn all these tricky openings from you. How how do you play them? Queen to h4. This was very interesting. Let's let's go through this. This line, of course, in Blitz is super dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, I, I actually even like against players with 23, 2400 in, I mean, I play this line a lot in Blitz championships, but never like, I mean, rapid also, but in classical chess, I know that there are a lot of drawbacks, so I'm not that confident, but in Blitz, it works, it works great. So uh, this is like uh, the Owen system. Yeah, is it's called, or maybe the English defense or some name like that. Yes. I don't even know how it is called. <laughs> it's it's like a let's call it the Nimzo Indian without the knight on f6. Wait already, like I mean, like for example, like knight c3. I mean, it's not a mistake. It's absolutely playable, but it's not necessary mm. because with knight c3 already, like you approach the 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 theory in a way that you might get troubles. I mean, the east. I mean, here are like two good moves. I mean, okay, according to modern chess, e4 is the strongest move. Ah, uh, e4, and if bishop b7? Yes. Bishop b7 and bishop d3. You skip the fact about, and now after bishop b4 check, which is the most precise move, because, okay, go go quickly back. Instead of bishop b4 check, if I play f5 here, you can take because of queen h5 check, this, and I uh, don't have the square on f8. Ah, so this is, is actually, the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Elizabeth, this is a theoretically losing position for black, right? I think so, yes. Yes. So so that's why it's important for black not to play f5 here, but give a check. And then white is very smart and puts the king on f1. So f5 now... This is one option, but not the only one. Bishop d2 is also absolutely fine. Ah, okay. But knight c3 would be, of course, not so clever because I will push f5 again. And now actually, like, um, you cannot take on f5 because I have the square on f8. Wow, that's that's a good insight. Excellent. Excellent. Got it. So uh, she went knight c3, which is a yes. slight error. Uh, but you know, here, when we reached here, I was like, hmm, what, what will she play? Will she play knight f6? Maybe she'll play knight e7, d5 break, what's going on? And suddenly queen jumps out on h4. I think if I remember right from my old files, because my brother was building up this file for me 20 years ago. Okay. My brother, okay, he also used to be like, uh, okay, he's, I'm not even sure he's an IM, but he's like 2300, he won a couple of times the German championship. And when he was in his young teenager age, he had a big hobby, building up theoretical lines and checking them with a computer. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's and, a, that's a good ha hobby to uh, uh, that's a you know if when you have a brother who has this hobby it's very nice you can use all the analysis then in your turn but actually that that was a fact i mean like he was building it up and he gave it to me and i could play it <laughs> very nice but this were the kind of childhood openings he built up for me not only like e6 and b6 also e6 bishop e5 and i can tell you like i still play both of these lines nowadays oh. But it's like the childhood lines my brother was building up for his lazy sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we can put it. But Queen H4, actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's the best move in the position. Right, right. And and actually, I couldn't find a very logical way. I think Bishop D3 makes all the sense, right? Otherwise, how do you defend yes. the E4? Yeah, thing? I'm not sure whether it's F5 or not, but I think F5 still works because after Knight F3, yes. I could play... Queen g4. This is exactly what Anna said in the chat as well. That knight f3, queen g4 is very strong for black. Yeah. Yeah. This seems. So that's why actually, um, yeah, you better don't play knight c3, and you don't get into these troubles. True. True. Once, <laughs> once these troubles begin, they were like never ending because oh, maybe here f3 trying to just hope to you know. I played a game like this. Ah, you played it. Half a year ago. Okay, and. You won it, yes? I think I won it. I think I played, um, I'm not sure I played knight f6, which is fine because you cannot take um, e5 on f5 because f3 is hanging. And also e5 may be met with this, yeah? Could be met with that. But even if you mm -hmm. don't take it and play knight g8, hypothetically speaking, still like, uh, I mean, okay, this we will not do. But I mean, 
in the worst case, still this position is not like that white won a decisive tempo because white has a lot of, lot of other troubles. True, true. Mm. So uh, she went bishop f4, but now she lost a pawn here after queen f7. Very alert not to play queen g6 because e takes f5 comes with the tempo. So mm. you went queen f7. And then e5, you picked up the rook. And I think this was not so difficult yeah, to convert this position. Yes, okay, maybe she should have tried to play f3 and uh, at least there are some chances to play to push king f2 and knight h3, this is the idea, but I think still, I mean, I have the feeling that they will always get somehow out with my um, with my bishop because I have a lot of, uh, I mean, I will play knight c6 with the tempo. I will keep you busy a while. Mm. You will keep keep creating some of the other threats. Maybe e5 yeah. would come in yes, and then also, suddenly yes. e4, yeah, yeah. And uh, very nice game. So four out of four. No one yet uh, able to pose you with great problems. Yes, third game was slightly tough, but this one was nice. So let's go with for the fifth one. Okay. Okay. I will just meet you again. Yeah, yeah. Guys, in the chat, uh, while the fifth game is about to begin, let's quickly go and please try to subscribe to Elizabeth's channel as you can see here she has 3.78 subscribers it would be nice to make it 4000 subscribers today and would be very nice uh, mods if you can spam in the link you can see she's so knowledgeable with all these ideas by the way the games have begun this time she is white quickly let's go here and see oh she plays the london and she's playing against gonda wow mayur gondalekar is playing against her Amazing, Mayur. This is a great opportunity for Mayur, who is a very regular viewer of Chess Base India. And let's see how how strong Mayur can fight, guys. Mayur is from Japan. He's a he's a. I think since the lockdown, he has hardly missed the stream, and it's so nice that he's playing against uh, Elizabeth. He's also a mod. Yes, he's also a mod c5 and now elizabeth is thinking should i castle oh h4 let's think is she preparing herself for some sacrifice on h7 oh c4 no no mayur this is very dangerous this is very dangerous now you've closed in the center for it for the time being elizabeth stops b4 and now she is going to come at your king knight e5 g4 g5 something of that sort is going to come in Maybe you, you can go knight e4. Yeah, at the right moment, if black plays knight e4, then that would mean that he is able to just sort of, you know, uh, make the bishop on c2 passive. a5. Shall we go e4? e4 looks also a good move. But then h4 looks slightly misplaced. Yeah, once you play e4. So I guess Elizabeth will continue with knight e5. Oh, she played e4. <laughs> Miss Messi showing her true nature, says Anit. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, that's her name, yeah. Miss Messi. Is that what you call her? On stream. Takes, takes, queen takes e4 and knight f6. I like black's position. I like black's position. And uh, Mayur has played very well. He's learnt all of this in the lockdown from Chessbase India streams, perhaps from other streams, from a lot of other different sources. And now he's using it against Elizabeth. Maybe B4 is a very interesting move to open up things. Giving up a pawn on C4, perhaps. Or would he go knight D5? That also looks... Ah, Anna is Miss Solid. And Elizabeth is Miss Messi. Wow. Okay, I get it now. I get it. I completely agree with her name, Miss Messi, because she creates mess on the board. But this time, Mayur is fighting hard. Knight g5. Knight g5. What a nice tactical move. Is it like uh, there's a mate on h7, guys, so you can't take the bishop. If you play h6, there's still a mate, so you need to go g6, I think. Oh, he takes, but now h g. Opens up. 
this is slightly dangerous because now the dark squares are weak. I do not like black's position. The queen is coming from e4 to h4. Somehow, Elizabeth, Miss Messi has created the mess again on the board. Miss Messi is creating the, the mess. King g7. And now queen comes to e4. Suddenly, black is pushed on the defensive. From being on the attack, he is pushed on the defensive. Rook h8 and there you go. The, the rook jumps in. No, no h5, Mayur, for you. And now, maybe just... Oh, he's still fighting. He wants to come knight to f5. But queen e5, check. King g8. King may go to g8 here. And now queen takes b5 might not be the right move because rook b8 and b2 may hang. So I don't think uh, Elizabeth may take on b5. But then she's Miss Messi. And I don't understand Messi chess. So maybe she would take. Let's see what she does. Maybe g4. Stopping knight f5. How does that move look? g4. Yes, she plays it. She plays g4 now. And you know guys, if you can get your rook to the h5. And then sacrifice on h8. Queen takes h8. King takes h8. Rook h7. King g8. Rook h8. And the other rook to h7. That would be nice. But Mayur giving no time to her opponent. He's played his queen to d5. Bishop f4. And you can't take the queen. Because bishop e5 traps the rook there. Wow. What a game. What a game. I'm, I'm loving the way. The style in which Elizabeth is creating all the mess in the position. Maybe queen f3. Mayur should go in and stop the white king from moving. If the white king cannot move, then the rook cannot enter. Because taking the queen just doesn't seem right. But also I feel Mayur is under huge pressure now and may not be able to survive. Survive this game. He's coming down to 44 seconds. Elizabeth has 1 minute 39 seconds. Hmm. But now he will long castle. Guys, my threat is coming in. Look, queen takes g4, rook h1, knight f5, queen into h8. Queen takes h8. She's going to do it. This is happening, guys. This is happening. This is happening for sure. Queen h8. Queen h8. I told you, I told you, this is happening. What a nice mate. What a finish, what a finish. I, you know, 10 moves ago, I said this is in the air and you found it and you, you checkmated him. What a nice mate, what a nice mate that was. Uh, did you feel you were in trouble at some point in this game? Not really. Okay, okay, shall we go through it, by the way? Your opponent. Maybe I didn't. I didn't play it in a clean way. I know. Mm. But now I understand from the chat that your name is Miss Messi, <laughs> <laughs> and Anna is Miss Solid. So I understand that why you. And I'm completely in agreement with this name, Miss Messi, because that's how you play chess. You you make the position messy. Um, and we, we are enjoying this masterclass on the London, actually. There are so many nice London games. C5, H4. And is this recommended, H4, or this is just for Blitz? H4 is possible to play. I mean, of course, if you want to play it in the, well, let's say, less... Um, I mean, the thing is, like, if you play, like, Castle, there's Knight H5, and this is not necessary to allow so, I mean, I think actually H5, H4 fits to the character of the position. Okay. So, I mean, I like H4 because, okay, H4 has sometimes ideas like Rook H3, Rook G3 in addition, and it's it's fitting to the character of the position. Okay, okay. So, you play, uh, you play H4, C4. I thought it was not a great move, but somehow with this B5, Bishop B7, it stopped your E4. One second, I think I did a mistake because instead of a3, I should push e4 immediately because ah, okay. then there's a bishop not on b7. I, I've, I mean, I played a3 instantly and I didn't look at it like in a deep way. But if I play e4, then you cannot really take and then I push e5 and it's a totally different story. But, but why can't I take? Like if I take? You can take, but you cannot take twice and yeah. get what yeah. you got. And this should, th should this be okay for black or no? 
I think it's okay for black, but now I can probably like push my knight to g5, knight e g5. Knight e g5, okay. Probably, yeah. Even if you play h6, probably I can ignore it. <laughs> now, now I know you won't, you won't move your knight from there. You will let it be there. If white, if black takes, you will take back with the pawn. Oh, and maybe I will play like queen e2 here, something like that. Right, right. Okay. So a3 was played, bishop b7, mm -hmm. and now queen e2. And uh, do you think knight e4 made sense here for black to stop all these but e4 then I ideas? Can capture and play like even knight g5 is interesting, but knight e2 would also be fine. Knight d2. Knight five, I like a bit more because, okay, you cannot even push f5. I mean, here you can at least maybe consider f5. Yeah, yeah. But also then after f3, I know f3 I cannot play instantly because h4 is maybe hanging with a check. I have to be careful about that. So, I mean, knight g5 is better in any knight, case. Knight and g5, okay. you go knight f6, yes, with black. Um, now, actually, like, I consider f3. And I think I am, like, by, like, even gf, I should be much better, at least by positional point of view, it's apart from the fact that your king is super weak. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, for for me... It's like white king looks slightly weak, but you think the black king is weak. I but... mean, like, yeah, even king d2 is a safe king, square. King d2 is a safe square. And then you get your rook over here. And yeah, true. Maybe the black king will get checkmated in a few moves. Uh, so a5 by Mayur and here e4 takes, takes, bishop e4, queen takes, knight f6. And he went knight d5. You Oh, and this is the point. Yeah, this is very nice because I thought you have to move your bishop, but you played knight to g5, attacking at 7. I think knight e5 is maybe not so precise because now you have to weaken up yourself. Maybe here in this position, it would have been smarter, something like queen d5. Ah, queen d5. Because, okay, I mean, queen c2 is not precise. I have to admit I was hoping for knight e5 which is I not know. a good approach to play Blitz, but okay, I wanted to have some fun. That's why I said like, even E4 probably in this position to push doesn't promise me so much. True, true. Hmm. So Knight D5, Knight G5, and he took here, but maybe G6 here? Is that possible? Oh, G6 should, should be better, but okay, now I wanted to play anyway Bishop. I mean, yeah, I have to play Bishop D2. And, and there's some slight weakening, so later on you may get in H5 here. So she, he took, takes, now there's a mate, g6, bishop d2, king g7. I liked how uh, you went queen to e4, rook h8, and then rook h6, stopping h5 for forever. And now a check here, and g4, stopping there, and bishop f4, so that the queen can never be taken. Uh, and when I was thinking, I thought Queen F3 stopping Long Castle seems like the only way that Black can perhaps keep fighting here. Uh, Queen F3, I didn't even check to be honest, but this is probably your right, yeah. Because because Queen G2 worked like a charm, like it allowed you to Long Castle. This is true. Except, but even after Queen F3, maybe I can uh, Queen F3. Uh, this is the same idea to take on g4. Just... I, I want to take and play knight f5, but just you don't get in time your rook to h1. Yes, this is true. This would have been probably a bit, I mean, not a bit, it would have been much clever, more clever, yeah. I'm not even sure what I should do here objectively. Maybe, maybe, okay, no, maybe, maybe in the worst case, I play rook h4. There is nothing else to do. Uh, I shouldn't give you the f5 square. I mean, I still should be better because you play without the rook. Right, right. Mm. So Queen G2 and now Long Castles. And uh, had you also seen this like from a from a distance? You know, that I, I have is... seen it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have played Long Castle. Right, I mean. right. So Rook H1, uh, Queen F5. And I, I thought even Knight F5, this works the precisely. Same story. Same thing. So Queen F5, you took, took. And that was a very pretty mate. Uh, a nice checkmate. The G5 pawn just stops the king from coming out. So, uh, Elizabeth, can we go for a last game? Sure. Sixth game, five out of five until now. Uh, and let's go for the last battle. Let's see whom she chooses as the sixth player today. Guys. Yeah. It will be... I know he's not a star, sorry. 
I have to take stars and it will be Padmayesh. Padmayesh. Oh, nice. Padmayesh is a lucky guy. He played in the played against Gukesh. He played with Stembuliak and also with Elizabeth. Nice. So let's begin. Padmayesh is playing here. And guys, I hope you went and checked out Elizabeth's channel. Yes, fantastic. We have 3.85 subscribers. Let's make it 4K, guys. Okay, has the game begun? Yes, it has. And this time Elizabeth is black, black. Okay, let's flip the board. Padmash is a very solid player. I know that. So he's not. And he was also there on Dr. Chess once. Mayur says, thank you. I am Pates for the game. Lot of learning for me. Thank you everyone in the chat for your support. Thank you, Sagar, for the commentary. Mayur, you played very well. Keep it up. That was a great game. So we have B6. This is, I think, one of those games where Miss Messi is playing like Miss Solid. Not taking too many chances. Queen goes to C2. Bishop B7. And you know what? Uh, I remember what Padmaesh came with a, with a query in Dr. Chess was. Often I get good positions against strong players. But I get nervous. So let's see if he's able to get a good position against Elizabeth. And then he gets nervous and makes a mistake or not. Or will he play fearlessly? Okay, 94. Now, if white doesn't do something, h5, h4 could be a deadly threat here. e3, mm, I don't like h4 maybe. h5, sorry. She plays d6 first. Bishop d3, maybe f5. White is playing solidly here, developing all his pieces. By the way, was there a queen a4 check somewhere? Ah, she takes it. She takes on c3. I thought there was queen a4 check perhaps. Maybe I missed something. Not sure. f5. And knight d2. Nice move. Nice move. Takes, takes. Is she going to pick up the pawn on g2? Looks scary, but then, well... Nothing scary for Elizabeth. She is a risk taker. She takes on g2, puts a bishop to f3. And now, how do you continue as white? You have the lead in development. Black's pieces are not developed. Ooh, bishop e2 is just a bit too... bit too passive, I thought. And now knight c6, knight d7, all look okay. White is a black is a pawn up. Maybe she'll go knight c6. Ah, she plays queen d7. And maybe her idea is to play queen. Okay, queen f7 now. Just, just making sure. Queen f3. Ooh. Wow. Did was that move missed? Suddenly white seems to be in a great position now. D5 was not what was. Elizabeth's plan. What a check and maybe queen d7 was not the best move. Knight to c6. Padmash, don't take with the queen. A queen exchange is not going to favor you, I guess. Or is it? c7 may hang after that. Do you take queen d5, queen d5, cd5 and take on c7 then next. But then knight goes to b4, threatening knight c2. He's thinking. He's thinking. He takes with the pawn. He takes with the pawn. Knight b4. D6, wow. He is taking his chances here. Maybe castles. Or knight c2 check, king d2. You cannot take on a1 because a8 is hanging. So you, you have to be careful here. <laughs> Miss Messi's knight is into your position. Castles. Castles. And now white king is a bit weak. On e1. Knight c2 check. Could be a threat. King f1. So he wants to run his king over there from g2 to h1. This is not an easy position to play for both sides. Both have taken quite a bit of time. g4, Elizabeth. Backwards is not a move in Elizabeth's dictionary. She's like always forward. I move forward. King g2, 
Now queen d5 check, perhaps you can go f3, but then she may just take on d6, yeah? C takes d6. I'm quite stressed. I'm quite stressed about this position to be to be honest because uh, I don't like kings to be open in this manner. But that's what I'm learning a lot from Elizabeth. Oh, she plays knight to d3, and is that game over, guys? Because if the queen moves, queen takes f3 is a mate. Wow, what a game! What a game! You can see her face. She knows. She knows that she's got him. She's got him. F3 is hanging. Queen cannot defend F3. Yeah, yeah. Very fearless play. Very fearless play. What a move. Knight D3. Time to resign. I think for Padma here. Rook D1. Yeah, I take the queen. Six bar six. She has won all the games. Queen takes F3. Mate. What a game. What a game. Elizabeth, please. You have to sort of tell me uh, how how are you able to play in such messy positions? I was like, no, the black king is too exposed, but you somehow managed to checkmate him. W what's the way to be so tactically strong? Is th mm, this is a good question? I don't know. Actually, I like this kind of messy position. You like it? Okay. You like it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got the name for for a good reason. Is it because, as you said, since childhood, you like playing these positions? You trained yourself this way? Um, no, it's not like I trained myself this way. I just believe sometimes when you're like a, a child, you have a certain kind of character and the character often fits perfectly to the playing style. When I was a kid, I was also like chaotic in my room. My room was a mess. <laughs> like uh, the, the way I put my my things and go to school was a mess. I mean, like even like I couldn't even have a folder which had all the stuff inside because basically I messed up everything in 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 my childhood. And it was similar to to chess in a way. I like I really liked the messy positions. So more pieces were hanging left and right. Nice. The better I actually like I got uh, I got away with that. So that's very um, interesting. So, so do you recommend people to keep their house messy in order to become <laughs> become messy players on the board? Look no, at this. I, think, I, I really Look, think it's my my, my, uh, my uh, house is filled with mess. Yet on the board, I can never manage the mess. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, but this game was really very stressful. Uh, I think Padmaesh with the white pieces. Managed to put you under some pressure, I felt, at some point. Although the opening went really well for you. Yes, I think I have, the moment I played queen d7, maybe queen d7 was a bit... Uh, I mean, queen d7 was fine, but I should probably just move my king. I mean, this is all fine. Oh, by the way, was there a moment where he could play this? Was this I working? Have, I thought I have knight c6. Yeah. And if d5, yes. then I feel like I can take on c3. Take on c3, uh, and now the queen is attacked, so I take back. You and take, take here, and I take the rook, and, and then you take, take the rook, and, and then I you just the move the bishop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So bishop d3 was played, takes and f5, mm -hmm. knight d2, you took, took, bishop takes, uh, of course, you took this pawn, and now maybe bishop e2 was a bit uh, too soft, yeah. No, bishop e2 actually, like, I think it was a good move. Maybe even, mm -hmm. like, I should not even play bishop f3 and play, like, bishop g7 instantly. But also bishop e2 or queen e2 is coming. So it's like uh, h5 is the biggest weakness in this position. Okay. So bishop e2, good move by Padmaesh. Takes, takes. And now, yeah, if, if you just develop your knight to either of these squares, there's this queen h5 check, which is slightly unsettling. Yeah, that's actually, I mean, I, I consider it to be annoying in a way, mm. but maybe actually here the easiest way was, um, it's a good question, what was the easiest way? I mean, maybe I even so. considered G4, but G4 is also a move you don't want to play. Yeah, because H3 maybe. So okay, even like to give the black squares like F4 square, okay, but maybe G4 is is good enough, but I'm, I mean, Queen D7 can't be that bad. I think after queen d7, you give a check. 
I probably should just play King D8 and leave it, you know, because okay, now you don't have, uh, you cannot really exploit anything. Yeah. I get my king to be seven, maybe at some point, and I will be fine. True. So King D8, getting the king here was yes. Better. Also, I mean, with Queen D7, I have sometimes Queen A4 ideas, and your king is also not in the safest position ever. And this would have been wiser than to allow Queen F3. I just missed that. Yeah, yeah, and then. Uh, he was his bishop was very strong now on this diagonal and c4 seemed like a nice move knight c6 takes knight b4 uh and but again now this king is also shaky you know and actually like here it's not about material anymore it's really about who has a safer king yes and somehow you managed to castle here uh, which was a nice move because otherwise after d6, it didn't. I mean, knight c2 doesn't work because of king d2. I was even calculating queen c4 and sacrifice to rooks, but then I have to mate, and it will not be mate. Isn't this? Wouldn't this be similar to this immortal game? You know, this evergreen game where he gives up both the both the rooks and then. But yes, I, I mean, like my father lost a game against Michael Tal this way. So. <laughs> So, so your father is a chess player. Brother is a chess player. You are a chess My player. My father is a grandmaster, actually. He, oh, yes, and he's the one who taught you chess. Yeah, Thomas Pates. Yes. yes, and my brother is also Thomas. And okay, my whole family plays. And uh, yeah, my father lost the game against Michael Tal when Michael Tal sacrificed both rooks. Wow. I think it was played. I think even when I was born in '85, not sure, maybe also '83. One of these two years before. I mean, before Michael Tal died, died, he had this kind of immortal game or loss against him. Wow, I'll check out but that game for sure. But here doesn't work because I need like Queen D3, one more move, and uh, this will not work out to make a mate. True, true. Okay, so castles, mm -hmm. King F1, G4, Queen F4, and. Uh, here, I I don't know when did you spot this entire mating pattern like queen d5 if f3 then knight d3 yeah this actually f3 knight d3 I saw quite late I was calculating c takes c6 I was calculating the end game with c takes f3 and then suddenly I spotted knight d3 only <laughs> yeah I, mean... I, I also saw c takes d6 only and I was like maybe then the king can go to you know has to move to h1 or something like that I was thinking. And then suddenly ND3 is so powerful, it's, it's like game over. On the spot, yeah. It's lost on the spot. This was unfortunate for him. I mean, after Queen D5 check, he has to go King F1 back. Yeah, yeah. Only chance. True, true. But here I think Black is already doing quite well now. I mean, his, I mean, the King of Black is weaker than mine. Maybe even I have time yeah. now, I'm not sure, to play King H7. But okay, maybe I don't have to give the seven um this c7 pawn like voluntary. I'm not sure about that. Mm. I mean, but this is like a move which uh, would not give me so much headaches. True. But probably I can even take on c6 on d6. But then I mean queen d6 and you would give uh, you would um, exchange the queens maybe. Okay, no, I have some checks. Not sure what is the best move here. I had to think a bit deeper about that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is this was very very. Uh, complicated, but the way it ended was very beautiful. Uh, you went check f3 and knight d3, and, and suddenly it was. I mean, I was also surprised that suddenly the position collapsed, you know. Yeah, and you won six out of six. What a great, great uh, show by you! You played amazingly. Uh, and did you enjoy playing again? Yes, it was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining in. And uh, guys, before you all leave, please make sure, first of all, to uh, subscribe to Elizabeth's channel and also to go to Twitch, uh, Anna Muzichuk's Twitch channel, which I have on the screen right now, so that... Oops, he will sorry. be online in about one half hours, I think. In one and a half hours. Like one, one and a half hours, I think we will be online latest. Uh, just a second. Let me just make sure that people can see this. Yeah. What will be the stream? What will the stream be about? I mean, our plan was like to show some exercises to improve your 
visualization. I don't know how you say it correctly in English. Yeah. Visualization. I mean, visualization because in chess sometimes when you calculate variations at some point you forget where the pieces are and there are some kind of exercises which are related to chess but which are not so complicated and which you can um, easily build up to and with this kind of exercises you improve this okay and we want to show some examples how um well like one of the ideas how to can how you can train it but of course in in most cases you need a partner to help you mm. Wow, this will be fun to see. So guys, please check it out in an hour and a half from now on Twitch, Anna Muzichuk's Twitch channel. And also, uh, Elizabeth, thank you so much for, for coming here. We learned a lot from your games and we enjoyed it tremendously. Uh, and good luck to you. Hope, hope we can do something in future as well. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Or like have a nice evening or good night in India. Yes. This is great. Sure. All right. Take care. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Guys, that was a fantastic session. Uh, I myself enjoyed it tremendously. I learned so much. I hope you did as well. Anna, thank you so much. Thanks uh, for being there around. Uh, and also. Guys, please make sure to like this stream, to, to check out also the channels of Elizabeth and Anna Muzichuk, both of them uh, on YouTube, on Twitch and on everywhere. Follow them. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll have more players joining in for Blitz Challenge. So make sure you get premium membership of Chessbase. It's very, very nice. There are a lot of features. I made a video for the same. So you can check that out as well. If you write Chessbase account features in the in on YouTube, you will find it. So become one. We'll soon have more strong players joining in. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, take care. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.